waiting for your new wheelchair, huh? Yeah, and a little excited? Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to be excited about something that's going to help you in the long run, very long run. <laughs> so let's talk about the things you can do while you wait for the brand new spanking new wheelchair. So there are a few things that you can do that will be important to have ready for when the wheelchair arrives. And one of those things is room. <laughs> so if your room, your bedroom is uh, cluttered, that's one thing you want to eliminate and uh, just organize things, put things in boxes or whatever you need to do to keep the floor space nice and clear so you can drive in and be able to park it somewhere. If you also have a walker that you use to transfer or to support you briefly, you know, in short spurts, um, that's something you want to put in the corner or fold it up, you know, so, or I put my walker outside my door, so that gives me more space. My room is a bit small, even though here it looks very big, <laughs> it's a little small. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, cleaning up any clutter. Any furniture that you have in the house that might be in the middle of the hallway, on the side, you know, furniture you want to put on the sides of the walls and just have a clear path no matter where you go in the house. If you have a little table here, a little something there, you want to see if you can remove that little table, have the hallways clear so you can get in the bathroom without crashing into objects and little things, little doodads that are here and there, especially anything that might be near your doorways in the uh, frame of the doorways, you want to clear that out as well. The next thing you want to do, so the key there is room, space, space to roam, space to roll. <laughs> the next thing you want to see in your bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, is um, for items to be close to you while you're sitting in the wheelchair to be able to reach. Because once you're seated, once you're relaxed, and you don't want to risk trying to get up or trying to stretch and hurt your arms or your shoulders, you want things that are close to you, like silverware, plates, uh, things that you need for cooking. Uh, you want to keep those at hand. So the kitchen will need some assessment you might already have it uh, all set up and all good to go. So you won't have to worry. But if things are a little scattered and if you live with others, then talk about, you know, can we rearrange it so I can, I can reach it and won't have issues when I'm in my wheelchair. So anything that's high in the cabinets, you want to see what's in those high cabinets to see if you might need those often. If not, they can stay up in the high cabinet. No problem. So the kitchen, evaluate that and see if everything is at a level that will work for you. Next thing that is critical is the bedroom. <laughs> the bedroom, well, I think at the beginning I talked about the bedroom, you know, just to clear out the clutter, make sure your clothes and things are reachable. Any doodads, any pens or paper, or anything you need, your phone is at reach. Um, the next thing is going in and out of the home. You're going to need a ramp, friend. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you have a ramp? Did you contact a company that can install a ramp? That's going to be really important. So you might not be able to do it right away. Uh, the company that's providing the wheelchair might be able to uh, make arrangements to uh, lay down a um, metal um, ramp for you, and it won't take much. If you have any high uh, transitions, uh, you know those bars that they usually put between the carpet and the floors, uh, those are quite annoying. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, if you need to put like a rug over that, or if you need to put a little uh, bridge over that, uh, that might be good so that uh, you you don't have to go <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> so 
I have to do that here. <laughs> so annoying. But it's what it is. So, but if you can put a rug over it or you can put like a little bridge over it, uh, that might help. And it'll avoid the, the bumps. Um, so what you really want to get is a sign where you <laughs> post this beautiful sign that says reserved parking. <laughs> I have it there because uh, just so they don't put any furniture or anything to block my uh, adorable plug where I plug in my wheelchair. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what I do. <laughs> but you can make one of those out of cardboard, out of paper, whatever, and post it above the plug so they don't block it. <laughs> so... Uh, and then um, the next thing you want to do in terms of tools, uh, people ask what tools do you need. Sometimes a wheelchair already comes with some tools, uh, a little packet of uh, Allen wrenches. Now I bought a whole box of tools because I was needing other tools as well. So, uh, but you can get a tiny one, <laughs> just a tiny one. But will you will for sure need some Allen wrenches to tighten or loosen anything you want in terms of the arms or anything like that. Sometimes it gets a little loose uh, with time. So you want to check all that and make sure everything is tight and, and good to go. Uh, let's see. The ramps and the ramps also... You want to make sure that the company that is providing the wheelchair gives you some ideas on the ramps, if you need ramps at your home, uh, what company to contact, and the cost. Sometimes they can do it for absolutely free. And I have another video somewhere around here that talks about ramps. And so I will post that at the end so you can watch that one. Each state has organizations that will install uh, temporary or permanent ramps for you so that uh, you can get in and out of your home with ease. I strongly recommend that you have two ways to exit the home, and that's mainly for safety. Uh, whether there's an earthquake, whether there's a fire, whether there's something going on, you want, you want two ramps uh, for the back door, front door, side door, front door, uh, whatever the combination is. Uh, so you want to be able to, to get out in, in a timely manner <laughs> so, so nothing happens to you or your wheelchair. So what else? So you got the tools, you got the sign, you got the ramps, you got clearing out and making sure everything is uh, posted to the walls and you can uh, drive freely. Now, if you live by yourself, no problem. You can do all of that without asking anybody. But if you um, live with others, then you might want to have that conversation with your family. Say, I have the wheelchair coming soon. Um, I see that there's this uh, book stand near the door. It might be a little tight for me to get through. Or um, can we talk a little bit about the kitchen and make sure there's tools and stuff that I will need? Uh, plates and flatware and things like that, uh, close where I can reach them. If somebody could help me with my bedroom, because I want to clear out the clutter and make sure I can get around just fine uh, with my wheelchair in the bedroom and uh, to be able to reach everything. So uh, those are the things, those are the basic things that you want to be doing while you wait and uh, for your new wheelchair. I know it's exciting. Uh, and it's very cool. <laughs> it's a very cool thing. I remember when I was waiting for mine and they were sending me notifications, you know, it's coming uh, approximately such and such a day to blah, blah, blah. You know, so, so I was excited. So I, I get, I get your, your joy and your nervousness all at the same time. So, uh, and it is exciting. It is, you know. Uh, the wheelchair will give you freedom and happiness and all of that. So <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be very cool. So I want to congratulate you who are receiving uh, your new wheelchair soon. 
and uh, feel free to post any questions in any of the videos here, and we will be happy to uh, answer them to the best of our ability, and we hope that uh, you have a great time with your new wheelchair, and get around, get out, and uh, visit the world.